What's up, wall fans? What's up, common centers? And of course, brewery fans. That's right, we are continuing American Craft Beer Week here at Stone Company Store in Pasadena. Now, all of you fans out there know that Stone is one of my absolute favorites, so I was so excited to get this one in to our Craft Beer Week series that we're doing all week, all week. And if you're not aware, those of you who live in the LA area, this is actually a good place to get stuff on tap. They have all kinds of cool stuff. And in fact, when I came in today, I was able to find a couple that I hadn't even heard of, hadn't even heard of just yet, as much as I follow Stone. So let's get into it. First off, we have what's called the Bowie One. Bowie One San Diego Pale Ale. Now it's a pale ale, not an IPA, but it is gonna be hoppier than your typical pale ale. They've got a couple special hops in there, and of course, because going with the San Diego tradition of beer brewing, they had to make it hoppier than your typical pale ale, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. You can see that right there. Looks like a typical pale ale, but it does have a little more hoppiness to it, and it's sitting at about 5.5%, which is higher than your typical pale ale. So keep that in mind if you're gonna check that one out. Of course, I have a little bit of an affinity for it because it is a San Diego pale ale, and you know, me being from San Diego, just kind of love all that stuff. So I'm thoroughly enjoying that one just keeping in mind it's a little lighter than your typical stone beers now next one I want to get to is what all the kids are drinking these days all of them and that is a hazy IPA hazy IPA this one's actually the MoJ MoJ hazy IPA super juicy sitting about 8.4 percent super juicy even juicier than a lot of hazy IPAs I've been experiencing uh, and they went ahead and just embraced it with the name MoJ so obviously you can figure out where they got that one you can see just how like citrusy and hazy that one actually is. It's really tasty. It's not my favorite of the stone beers, but if you're into the super hazy and you like a really fruity beer, this one's gonna be right up your alley as far as that goes. Definitely a drinkable beer. Um, mm. But remember, it's sitting at 8.4%, so it's a, it's a higher level hazy IPA, and of course that's what Stone does. They like to pack a lot of hops in there and a lot of alcohol content in there, because that's kind of what Stone does. So remember, check out Stone Company Store in Pasadena if you are not, if you're in the LA area and unable to get down to San Diego. They have a nice little patio here. They've also got the entire tasting room inside with uh, about 10 taps going and then of course stuff in bottles and you get growlers and all that good stuff so check them out uh, especially if you're a stone fan and can't get down to san diego down to escondido down to the actual brewery or any of their, their other locations for that matter great area downtown pa or old town pasadena so check them out and remember wall fans we're continuing craft american craft beer week all week all week don't even know what the next stop's going to be but it's going to be something a little later today so we're getting all these videos up as quickly as possible but as you're enjoying american craft beer week hashtag American Craft Beer Week, remember if it's not hashtag, it's not actually happening, then make sure you head on down to Stone, pa to Stone Company Store in Pasadena. You are going to get some fire trucks <laughs> come by. That's just the nature of the beast being here in Pasadena, Los Angeles area. And remember, wall fans, common sensors, brewery fans, beer fans, as you're celebrating American Craft Beer Week, remember, no matter where you're drinking, no matter who you're drinking with, no matter what it is you're drinking, and especially always, no matter why you are drinking, you should be drinking some nice craft beer because it's American Craft Beer Week. Always drink with common sense.